most memorable moment? Well, several. One is when we first met, when we first met all the students. Um, that was an orientation day on March 7th. I remember March 7th, uh, 2013. I remember because it was my birthday. When I was doing my first level two um, at a hand clinic, I was treating a patient and I mean, I have, it was something completely new to me. And after a few sessions working with him, he made a comment to me. He was happy. He said he was made, seeing improvements in his hand function. He was noticing he was able to do more than he was doing before. And to me, that was a proud moment because I was like, wow, you know, I'm doing something right. I would say my field work um, with all my clinical instructors, I enjoyed every one of them. Just being with my classmates and during break time, just getting to know each other um, outside of the schoolwork and having fun time and laughing and um, getting to know each other on a personal basis and to understand and realize that these will be our future colleagues. Most memorable is probably the beginning and the end. <laughs> just the beginning of starting a new adventure. One most memorable moment, or rather a lot of moments were uh, doing shower with the patients and after that I would change my clothes like four times a day. That's my most memorable moment. What was your favorite class or thing you learned in class and why? Um, I like kinesiology. 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 I learned a lot from that class. I mean we covered a lot of areas and you know kinesiology being the study of the uh, human body and emotion. It was very memorable. It came in handy when on my first uh, clinical. I have learned that um, I don't give up and that I brought out my true passion for therapy and helped me understand that I really love helping people. I learned that being focused on this program was what I needed to, to advance my life. Uh, I, I felt like I was kind of stuck where I was. like. I, I wanted something better, I kind of felt, but, and this CODA um, program gave me an opportunity. I was scared to go back to school because I'm like, I've been out of school for 10 years. There's no way I'm gonna remember anything. And doing this program, now we're at the end and completing it. I'm like, oh, I do have knowledge and I'm still smart. And just because I was out of school doesn't mean you can never go back. There's still all these time. I have learned a lot, though I think what I've learned about me is that even when I may doubt myself, I know that if I commit myself and I set my mind to something, I can accomplish that. And in that, I mean, I was able to make it through this program. Overcoming obstacles and challenges, um, I'm a lot stronger than I thought I was. What suggestions or tips could you share with the next group of students? Tips. Just to be ready to study, study, a lot of homework, and don't procrastinate. I say uh, work on your APA format. <laughs> work on it, uh, communicate with each other. My tips would be not to give up and to keep uh, their eye on the prize and to understand why they're doing therapy. Use your time wisely. Especially when you have downtime, use it to study. I used every opportunity I had to study because that was the main thing, all these working full time, going to school full time. I used my time, whether I was in the car going somewhere, in my break room, wherever I had, I had flashcards in my pockets. If I had nothing to do, take them out and study. I would say uh, collaborate among, among themselves. Um, you know this expression, two heads are better than one. That's true, you learn a lot more when you're working with your peers because you see perspective that you don't see that they see and they share that with you. Study very hard and uh, take this program very seriously because uh, whatever they learn from class, from the textbook, textbook or from the field work, uh, this comprises the foundation of the OT practice. Um, they should really uh, have patience, perseverance and everything. Once I started learning that it was about helping people regain uh, independence and really going back to uh, their prior level of functioning, that really made me want to do occupational therapy.